Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lisa and this is Southern Yankee Designs, a home improvement channel that explores DIY projects, paint tutorials, and money-saving decorating tips and ideas for your home. In this episode, I'm going to be doing a trash to treasure project using this old lampshade. I'm so excited to show you, so let's get started. <music> I will have on hand are pliers, needle nose pliers, a blade or box cutter, and some scissors. I am using these tools to remove this old fabric from the lampshade frame. As I was removing the fabric from the lampshade frame, I noticed that the top and the bottom part of the frame had a really cool canvas material that was on there pretty good. So I thought I would just use it to my advantage, trim it up really well, cut the loose threads, and I think it's going to be a nice accent to this project. For this project, I'm going to be using this rope that I found at Michael's, a razor blade, a piece of cardboard, some scissors, and a glue gun. So I didn't want to just make another lampshade. I wanted to be creative here and think out of the box and repurpose this frame into something different. And when I turned it upside down, I thought this would make a fantastic basket. So that's what we're doing. I am tracing out the smaller part of the frame and I'm going to cut it out and hot glue it in place and it's going to be the new bottom of my basket. I am attaching the rope to the lampshade frame using my hot glue gun and I am just going to repeat the same step wrapping the rope all the way around the frame gluing it in place until it's fully covered.
and there you have it a basket I'm going to clean up the strings and the glue and get it ready for my next step because of course I have to keep adding more I totally should have added handles before I got this far and I would recommend I mean it's not that big a deal but I decided I wanted handles after the fact this step can totally be skipped but I of course want to make things difficult and add handles later on if I were to do this again I would totally add the handles as I was gluing the rope around the frame I absolutely love how this turned out it looks like a real basket now like I said you can totally leave the handles off or you can just leave it at this phase right now as well but of course it's me I have to add just a little more detail to it I love using this plastic fencing I got this particular design from Dollar General it was only two dollars I stocked up on them I know Dollar Tree carries them as well if you come across these grab them because they don't last long I am going to be using my miter shears to cut this fencing I love this little tool it's so handy for small projects I will link it in the description box below cut all of the pattern pieces I actually held the piece of fence up around the bottom of the basket to see which pattern would work the best and I think the end pieces look the best so I am going to cut all of them same size and I'm going to get ready to attach them with my hot glue gun all around the base of this basket and it's going to make the base of this basket look like there's a wrought iron frame wrapped around it
piece all done. I think this turned out so pretty. I am thrilled with this trash to treasure project. It went from a nasty, disgusting, stained lampshade that was sitting in a storage building to this beautiful basket that looks like it's framed with wrought iron. I can put towels in it. There's all kinds of things I can do with this basket. I think I'm going to put a silk plant in it though. It's perfect. I absolutely love it. What do y'all think? Mm -hmm.